Good morning, guys. So I wanted to try something new. Um, most of you probably don't know, but we homeschool. And my little one is eight years old. And I'm sure like most of you, your children are tough. Mine is a tough one. He is very picky. He doesn't like to sit and do a lot of things, but he loves Minecraft. So I decided to try something new. I created a Minecraft school world. And I started this last year and we did test it out a couple times. And I have been slowly adding new things to it. <clears throat> We're going to go in and I'll start out and show you guys a little bit of what it's like. <clears throat> now he usually doesn't do the whole world at once. Sometimes he, you know, depending on the day, he does do um, most of it. And then other days he does one side and then the next day he'll do the other side. <clears throat> so I think right now I'm at where he ended last time. So I'm going to switch us into creative mode. <clears throat> and I will take us back to the beginning. Now, some things are in under construction. Um, there's stuff still being added. But this is usually when he comes into the world where he starts. And there's a, a yellow path here, as you can see. And it goes one way through the world. And, you know, this is just basic math he's learning right now. Adding, subtracting. Um, he's learning about money. Um, you'll see that further through. But um, he's, you know, he has to go through and read all the signs and he has to stay on the path. <clears throat> so he'll come through and, you know, he's never been one for reading, even though we love reading at nighttime together. Um, but reading was a very difficult thing for us. Um, he's very slowly starting to uh, improve and he's doing really well actually um, from you know playing Minecraft and I encourage him to you know try to sound out things and read things on his own and spell um, things when he wants to put signs or you know look something up I encourage him to you know sound it out and type it himself so, like I said, he starts out here and it's all, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, um, this is the adding area. So, we got an adding sign. And he has to, um, I try to put descriptions for each area when he starts. And so, he has to add the stacks and then write the answer on another sign. So each stack he would add and then put the answer. And I have a chest here for him to um, get blocks or signs because some of the, the problems he has to actually lay the blocks down for the problem and then figure out the answer. And other ones, the blocks are already there and he has to count them and put the answer. So this was from yesterday. <clears throat> so we have a simple, you know, write the problem, which he's not actually writing, he's putting it down. Um, this is all, you know, involvement and doing. So he has to count these blocks, um, and I've put signs on each one so he can write the actual answer for each stack after, and then he can go back and put the answer or the problem on the sign and then he can you know sit and add it and then he puts his answer over here 
<clears throat> so that's some of the adding. And this, this is like the one I was explaining to you about having to put the blocks down. I give him um, the sign that says the direction, place the block, place down 18 plus 10. So he has to put down one stack of 18. He can do it any way he wants. And then plus 10. And then he has to give the answer. So that's, and then we have this whole row. It's the same, all the same. And I go in, you know, after he does it and I'll change. I'll do that today. Um, I'm going to change the problems. So these are all just adding and problem solving with adding. It's a very interactive map. And I mean, you know, it's good for my little one because I think he needs... Um, something to learn by doing and actually like, um, you know, seeing and it's good for him. So at the end of this section, I put a, put a chest here for him to put, um, the blocks in that he's used. <clears throat> and then when I come back in and edit, I take them out and I'll put them back in the beginning. And I have a sign at the end of each section that says, great job, good job, you're doing awesome, something like that. Over here, we're on to subtracting. And it's pretty much the same concept as the adding part. We have the first stack, he has to count it, and then the second stack. So he'll put his, you know, answers on the signs. So this would be six minus four and then he would put his answer and then like the other section I have the blocks in here if he needs them because some of them he has to place down himself so he would count the first stack and count the second subtract and get the answer <clears throat> same thing for a lot of these This one he had to place down 10 minus 10. Now he was trying to be sneaky yesterday or the other day when he did this and he tried to put uh, 20 blocks all in one uh, stack and I had to explain to him that 20 minus zero it doesn't give you the same answer. So he had to, you know, retake it apart and make his two stacks like the sign said to do because you know we we have to learn how to follow the directions place down so he had to place down 12 minus 5 and find the answer <clears throat> Now, I like to put these signs on the stacks because um, once he's, oops, once he's count them, he has a hard time remembering. So, I always put the sign so he can count them and then add the answer and then go back and, you know, okay, that was that and this was this and then get the answer. <clears throat> And then, like before, he can put all his used blocks in his chest. <clears throat> <clears throat> now we're on to money. Um, right now he's learning about money. Counting, um, you know, dollars. And then change. Um, and this, there, there is a new section that's under construction further on. That I've added in um, nickels, dimes, and quarters. So we'll be working on that soon. I'll show you guys that. But here it's just basic. You know, the green is um, one block is a dollar. You know, two blocks would be two dollars and so on. Um, and the yellow blocks are change. So right here we have four green, which would be four dollars. And two yellow, which would be two cents. 
And again, he has to read the signs. <clears throat> and follow the path and here he has the green for money and yellow for coins so he takes what he needs how much is here and I'll put down you know a certain amount and he has to lay it out place down these he has to place down the block so this said 50 cents. So he had to put down 50 yellow blocks for 50 cents. He likes to make his stacks very high. <laughs> Place down $11.45. So he has his dollars here and his coins. <clears throat> So these are all counting money and placing down. So moving on, we have the chests for him to put his um, finished stacks of blocks in. And um, we're on to a section that's under construction. And I told him, you know, great job. Please follow the path. <clears throat> this was the next area and I extended the path to go around here like I said this is uh, currently under construction so he used to have a building section here which is still there but it start it'll start after this section so this is moving on to nickels dimes and quarters and it's currently blocked off but you can see back there it'll have uh, different blocks that equal a nickel a dime or a quarter and then he'll have to when I'm done editing it and finishing the build of it he'll have to go through and answer just like the other money section you know five cents 25 cents equals and you know what kind of change he could put down that equals that so if he follows the path, he's down to the building section now. And I always change this daily. So I'll add different blocks into the chest for him to build something on his own. And this is just a, a creative section. He has a couple of these throughout the world. <clears throat> so this one was done. And I'll go in when, when he does do them. And I always put a date from when it was built. So we'll do that now. This was from yesterday. So now we know when he did it. <clears throat> He made it like a little library, and then he was being silly, and he put his cow and his sheep inside. It's whatever he wants, because it's a creative, creative build. So these are some of the other ones that he built. He's got a little place here and a sheep and a pig on top and then following the path he gets to hop on and take a ride so we're gonna take a little roller coaster ride guys right here it's just a section he can you know enjoy while he's riding the roller coaster and um, some of this is still under construction. He doesn't use it. It's the periodic table and some of the other education stuff that's in the world. And I've added, you know, some books and some signs to look at. So 
So now we're welcome to the reading, writing, and spelling area. <clears throat> this I added in yesterday. He hasn't seen it yet. Um, it's just a little library section. And he has to... Um, the point was just for it to be something to look at. He can come in here and play music in the jukebox. And then if he comes over here, um, this book has um, a little thing for him to do in it. And some books here if he wants to write anything down. <clears throat> Moving on, we're at the, um, this section is currently rhyming or, you know, write, write certain things that, you know, you'll, you'll see the signs further down, but this is, um, two words that rhyme with jump. So he has to think of words that rhyme and he has to spell them out on the sign. So yesterday he came up with pump and thump. Some more rhyming here. Three words that rhyme with pop. Three words that rhyme with look. And then this is the other part, just, um, you know, four, four pets he can think of. So he has to um, come up with any kind of pet he could think of. And he came up with a donkey, tarantula, a dog and a frog. Um, they don't have to rhyme. This isn't a rhyming part. It's just four pets you could have or anybody could have. Three types of weather. <clears throat> this section is just simply for him to, you know, read the signs, get familiar with more reading and spelling. Three fruits. And that's the end of that section. Here we're on to the alphabet. So I have um, this whole row is just the letters. And he has to just go to every sign and write one word for every letter. And I put the dates on when he does them. And they always have to be different. He can't use the same words as the previous times. So that's all the alphabet. Great job. And then like before, this is another creative area where he can take a break, build something, use his imagination. And I give him different um, blocks for every build. So yesterday, oops, I did not mean to do that, guys. <laughs> I'll have to come back here and fix that. Um, yesterday he used those blocks that I just broke the chest for. <clears throat> and this is what he built from those. He called it his reinforced house. It's got all these steel bars and obsidian block. And we can come up here. out on the roof. It's very cool. And like before, you know, I usually put a sign so I know when he built them. Now, I know Minecraft has an education edition for um, a desktop, and unfortunately, we don't have desktop, and Minecraft doesn't offer education edition for Xbox One. Um, you have to have an actual desktop, which is kind of unfortunate. So, this is one of the reasons also why I went ahead and tried to create our own version of 
Education Edition for Minecraft. So if you guys um, currently use Minecraft Education Edition, I'd like to hear some of your thoughts about how it is and, you know, if you have any feedback about um, our world we're using or any additional things I could probably add if you'd like to see them in here, um, that'd be wonderful. So this is the last section, and he has to, you know, take the blocks out of here. There, these, these were actually the blocks that were in here. Um, he has to place a block behind the correct word. So each one has a sentence he has to read, and he has to figure out which word best goes in the blank. The car slid blank the hill. So he'll put the block down behind the correct word. She went for a long blank. Walk, jump, or bath. And he chose she went for a long walk. Which is correct. And they're all different sentences. And he usually has two or three choices to pick from. And to put the block behind. <clears throat> so that's the end of that. Um, I'm currently working on, um, or I'm going to be working on adding another roller coaster because he kind of just ends here and he doesn't really have anywhere else to go um, until I add another section but I was um, going to add another roller coaster going up over the world and um, so he could see everything that you know was throughout the world and then it'll bring him back to the starting location for the next day of work so I hope you guys enjoyed my homeschooling Minecraft world. I would love to hear your feedback about it. And if you have any suggestions, that would be awesome. Uh, leave a like. Please subscribe to our channel for further homeschooling content. Thanks, guys. Bye.